<coughs> okay, so um, uh, let's start uh, the uh, the class. Okay. Okay, so for quiz three A, uh, so the question asks to determine the transfer function x one over x two. Okay. <coughs> so uh, the most important thing about uh, this kind of question is uh, your free body diagram. If you get your free body diagram correct, then uh, inshallah your score will be uh, more than half. Okay. If your free body diagram is wrong, then uh, inshallah you get zero. Okay. So let's uh, draw the free body diagram. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's look at the first uh, block here, M1. Okay, so uh, first you need to determine what are the components connected to M1. So here at M1, you have uh, spring K1, damper C1, spring K2, and damper C2. Okay, sometimes the question might give you friction, okay? But here, assume there is no friction, okay? Sometimes uh, the question might uh, give you uh, a fraction, a uh, friction uh, on the wheel. So for fraction, uh, for friction, um, the, the calculation will be the same uh, as the damper, okay? So let's say if you have a friction here, maybe uh, C3, uh, for example, C3. So uh, the uh, the formula will be the same as the damper. So C three x one dot okay. But here there is no friction, so uh, we ignore uh, the friction. Okay. So first, uh, the component uh, that are connected to M one is spring K one K two, damper C one and damper C two. So K one x1 k2 x1 c1 x1 dot and c2 x1 dot okay so <clears throat> you have four forces acting backward because your box is assumed to move forward so these forces uh, are assumed to pull or to resist the motion of the box from moving forward. So that's why all of them are acting backward, okay? Okay, so one more force is uh, the inertia, okay? So you have the inertia, M1, X1, double dot. Okay, so let's look at the front forces, uh, the forward forces. So the first uh, force, is uh, the input F1, okay? So F1. <clears throat> and then uh, you need to look at uh, the components that are connected to M1 and also connected to M2. So here, uh, the components are K2, spring K2, and damper C2, because uh, these two components are connected to M1 and M2. So you have K2, X2, and you have C2, X2, dot, okay? Okay, so if you get uh, this uh, free body diagram correct, then you get um, uh, two marks, okay? So if let's say you get only one uh, part, one section, or one side of the uh, uh, forces of reward diagram, correct? So uh, one mark here and one mark here, okay? So if you forgot the dots, uh, pandai-pandai tolak sendiri markah, okay? Bagi kosong lah, okay? So make sure you have the dot, okay? Because uh, maybe uh, uh, dekat rumah sekarang ni, korang boleh tipu letak dot sendiri. Tapi uh, dekat exam yang betul, tak ada dot, uh, terus tak ada markah. Okay, ni serious sebab Uh, bukan saya seorang je semua lecture pun buat macam tu, saya tak tahu kenapa. 
So make sure you have the dots, okay? So double dot represent acceleration. Single dot is velocity. So you must have the dot, okay? Another thing is that if your uh, direction here, let's say uh, this uh, arrow here, maybe you put here, for example, and then you write K1, X1 here. So as long as the arrow is pointing on the right direction, then it's correct. But let's say you put K1, X1 here, but uh, the direction is here, uh, salah, okay? So the arrow doesn't, doesn't need to be, uh, let's say, on this side. You can uh, put here, uh, maybe here, as long as the, the force indicated by you is correct, okay? The direction is correct. Okay, so let's look at uh, the second free body diagram. So for M2, okay, so first we need to look at the components that are connected to M2. So you have a spring uh, spring K2, damper C2, spring K3, and damper C3. And there are four forces, okay? Meaning that there are four forces acting backward, okay? So the first one is uh, K2, X2, and then C2, X2 dot, K3, X2, and C3, X2 dot. And don't forget the inertia M2 X2 double dot. And then for the forward force, forward forces, you have F2 here. And you need to look at the components that are also connected to M1. So here it's uh, K2 and C2. So you have K2 X1 and C2, X1 dot. And again, uh, this is two marks. So one mark for each uh, side of the force, of the forces, okay? So let's say if you miss uh, one uh, component, uh, zero lah. Okay, after you uh, obtain uh, the free body diagram, Okay, so uh, because I said free body diagram is the most important, so uh, please, uh, uh, before continue the next step, please check your uh, free body diagram, whether you have enough forces or you have uh, the correct direction, okay? Because uh, in, in real exam, uh, free body diagram could uh, give more marks than uh, what we discussed here. Maybe each of the free body diagram, maybe four marks, okay? can be up to four marks. So uh, it's the most important, okay? <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's write the equation of motion first. So here you get um, M1 X1 double dot plus C1 plus C2 X1 dot plus K1 plus K2 X1 minus C2 X2 dot minus K2 X2 equals F1. So this is the first equation. Okay, so for the second uh, free body diagram, so you have negative C2 X1 dot minus K2 X1 plus M2 X2 double dot plus 
C1 plus C2 X. X2 dot plus K1 plus K2 X2 equals F2. Ah, Google Meet ni tak boleh uh, minimize. Kalau minimize dia, dia tak accept. Okay. Okay, so so after you have the free board, uh, the uh, equation, then uh, you can write in terms of uh, frequency response, okay? So using uh, Laplace transform. Oh, C3. Sekejap. Ah. Silap. Okay, thank you. C2 plus C3, okay. K2 plus K3. Okay, thank you. Okay, so after... Uh, after that, you write in terms of uh, frequency using Laplace transform. So you get M1 S square. So this is equation two. Okay, so M1 S square plus C1 plus C2 S plus uh, K1 plus K2. X1 minus or uh, my uh, plus lah plus minus C2 S minus K2 X2 equals F1. So this is equation one, and then the next one is. Uh, minus C2S minus K2 X1 plus M2S square plus C2 plus C3S plus K2 plus K3 X2 equals F2. Okay, so if you have a uh, uh, any of these four equations written uh, tak kisahlah uh, dalam frequency response ke dalam time response ke so ada dua equation ni uh, dapat dua markah lagi dua markah lagi okay uh, make sure equation dia betul lah kalau uh, letak sini kosong for example uh, pandai-pandai lah tolak markah Okay, so and then after that, uh, try to arrange in matrix. Okay, sometimes the question in exam asks you to uh, write in matrix form. Okay, sometimes. So students, uh, they uh, selalu buat uh, by substitution lah, not solve x1, x2. So they forgot how to write in matrix form. So usually write in matrix form, maybe another two marks or three marks. Okay, so if you uh, don't practice now, then uh, nanti exam tak dapat jawab, okay? So, write in matrix form. Uh, 
abis tanya Okay, so if you have uh, in matrix form, uh, you get another two marks, okay? Satu lah, satu angka. So uh, your matrix must, uh, must you must make sure that your matrix is symmetric, okay? Symmetric meaning that uh, about this horizontal uh, element, uh, this uh, element and this element are the same, okay? So if you have three by three matrix, uh, you put a, a, a diagonal line. So the non-diagonal elements must be the same. Okay, like a mirror image. Okay. So let's say uh, suddenly bila kira you don't have this, for example, ah uh, mana salah lah tu. So check balik. Okay. So after you uh, get into matrix form, then uh, the question asks you to find x one over x two. Okay, so uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, to use uh, Kramer's rule, okay. So first x1 is uh, determinant of f1, f2, negative c2, s minus k2, m, m2, s squared plus c2 plus c3, s plus k2 plus k3. Okay, kalau rasa macam uh, panjang sangat, uh, buatlah something uh, untuk mudahkan uh, diri anda. So, let's say D equals uh, determinant of M1 S square plus, uh, ni saya tak tulis eh, panjang sangat. Tapi dalam exam korang tulis lah, jangan tulis macam saya buat. Okay, tak pasal-pasal uh, kena tolak markah. So, please uh, write in full, okay, write in full. Uh, Bagi tahu, nanti buat juga masa exam. Okay, please write in full, okay. Here I, I tak larat. <laughs> okay. Okay, so in exam, please write in full, okay? Uh, because sometimes uh, ada examiner. So, uh, kertas exam awak bukan saya je yang tanda, okay? So, uh, stage lecturer section lain pun akan tanda juga. So, sometimes they can be uh, strict, okay? So, uh, uh, ikut je apa saya cakap. Kalau saya kata tulis in full, tulislah in full. Okay, so and then x2, uh, you just substitute f1, f2 on the second column, okay. Okay, and then uh, x1 over x2. So basically x1 bagi x2. Uh, so salin balik je lah okay. Uh, yang atas ni. Uh, let's say saya bagi A. Uh, tapi korang tulis in full okay. Jangan ikut saya. Uh, A over B. Okay to tulis in full. Jangan ikut saya. So 6, 7. Uh, tujuh markah. So ni satu markah, ni satu markah, ni satu markah, okay. Okay, so tak payah simplify kan matrix. Uh, uh, nak simplify pun boleh tapi uh, uh, kalau dalam exam ada masa simplify kan, okay. Kalau tak ada masa, if you don't have time to to calculate, you just leave it the matrix as it is, okay? The determinant as it is. Because sometimes sim simplify maybe uh, give you maybe another one mark, okay? So, uh, kalau tak sempat buat, tulis je in determinant form. Uh, hilang satu markah. Daripada hilang banyak markah, baik hilang satu markah. 
So kalau ada masa, ada masa lagi baru simplify kan Okay any question for uh, this Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, uh, the next question, 3B. Okay, so in uh, in exam, usually it will be a uh, three degree of freedom, okay? So for 3B, I asked you to draw the free body diagram and write in terms of matrix only, okay? So you don't need to solve X1, X2, X3. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, this question. So uh, for box X1, so on X1 you have uh, spring, spring, six newton, and damper. Okay, so spring and damper. So there are two components only. Okay, so the uh, the the platform is frictionless. So two components only. So you have six x one and two x one dot. Don't forget the inertia. Four x one double dot. And then uh, the damper is also connected to box x two. So it will become a forward force. Okay. So here two x two dot. Okay, so uh, let's look at the second free body diagram. Okay, so on X2, uh, it has damper to Newton here, damper, a second damper on the bottom, and a spring. Okay, so three components connected. So you have spring, damper, and another damper. And don't forget the inertia. And on the box also, you have a forward force F. And uh, the damper here is connected to X1. So another forward force to X1 dot. And then the spring here is connected to X3. So another forward force, 6X3. And then lastly is the box X3. So on the box X3, you have spring and damper. So spring, damper. And then the spring is also connected to X2. So you have 6x2, uh, don't forget the inertia, 4x3, double dot. Okay, so if you get your free body diagram correct, so each free body diagram, two marks, okay? So if you miss one force, uh, tolak satu marka. Pandai-pandai dah tolak, okay? Okay, after that, uh, you can write in terms of uh, equation of motion. So, uh, the first one, it becomes um, 4x double dot, 2x dot plus 6x1 minus 2x2 dot equals 0. Here it becomes two
And lastly, Okay, so after that, you can uh, write in terms of uh, frequency. Okay, and then you can write in terms of matrix. Hmm, panjangnya. Okay, so, um, so if you have the equation, um, okay, so if your matrix is correct, uh, bagi jempat markah terus. <laughs> okay, uh, kalau lah salah kira ke, uh, tolak lah satu markah sendiri dia, okay? Satu ke dua ke. Okay, so uh, okay, so again here, uh, you need to look at the matrix. It must be uh, symmetric, okay? Okay, so here, same with this, this one, same with this one, and this one, same with this one. Okay, so if not symmetric, then uh, salah lah, free body diagram salah. So siapa yang ambil finite element method, FEM? Uh, korang akan jumpa kena buat matrix macam ni juga lebih kurang so when you form that matrix we call it stiffness matrix uh, make sure it's symmetry okay so if if suddenly it's not symmetry then uh, your calculation is wrong so for FEM, Titi bercakap pasal FEM eh so FEM uh, your matrix will be uh, bigger than uh, 4 by 4 maybe 6 by 6 maybe sometimes it can be uh, 9 by 9 it, it's so big that it could make you frustrated, okay? But the essence here, you must make sure that your matrix is symmetric, okay? If not symmetric, ah, see, 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 penyiraan awak dari awal, okay? Especially dalam uh, FEM. Okay, so uh, let's look at question 3C. Okay, so question 3C is slightly different because uh, here you have uh, a force acting uh, before, uh, not on the box, but uh, acting on a spring, okay? 
So when you uh, later in exam when you find this kind uh, when you find this kind of question, uh, a force acting directly on a spring, then you must introduce a degree of freedom in between the force and the spring. Okay. And then uh, you can uh, continue as usual. So this becomes instead of two degree of freedom system, it becomes three degree of freedom. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's do this question. Okay. So for the first free body diagram, x one. So x one. So you have a uh, forward force. F and then X1 is connected to a spring. So the backward force is 2 X1. And the spring also connected to X2. Okay. The spring also connected to X2. So you must have a forward force, another forward force, 2 X2. Okay. Now let's look at uh, free body diagram number two. Okay, so on X2, you have spring and damper. So backward force is 2X2. And damper, 5X2 dot. So the spring is also connected with X1. So you have 2X1. And the damper is connected to X3, so you have 5 X3 dot. Okay, so both X1 and X2 has no mass, so no inertia, okay? Okay, lastly is uh, X3. So X3 is connected with uh, damper 5 uh, Newton second per meter and also 2 Newton second per meter. And don't forget the inertia because X3 has a uh, 10 kg mass, okay? So 10 X3 double dot. And the damper 5 Newton second per meter is also connected with X2. So you have 5 X2 dot acting forward. Okay, now you can write uh, in terms of uh, matrix or equation of motion. Okay. So, um, Here becomes 2x1 minus 2x2 equals f. Okay, so we'll to list those uh, in frequency response. Okay, tadi ni dua marka, okay, dua, dua marka, dua marka. Okay, for the second free body diagram, negative 2x1 plus 5x2 dot plus 2x2 minus 5x3 dot equals 0. So you can straight away write in terms of a frequency response. So this is 2x1 plus 5s, 5s plus 2x2 two two minus 5s x3. And then uh, for the third uh, free body diagram, negative, uh, negative 5x2 dot plus 10x3 plus 7x2 equals 0. 
then it becomes 5s x2 plus 10s square plus 7s x2 equals 0. Okay, after that, uh, uh, you can write in terms of matrix. Okay, so maybe you, maybe some of you use a uh, method of substitution. Uh, apa -apa lah, okay, boleh je. Uh, but uh, I, I want to show in terms of matrix, okay. So this becomes um, 2, negative 2. Negative 2, 5s plus 2, So dia nak X2. So X2 equals 2, negative 2, 0, F, 0, 0, 0, negative 5 S, 10 S square plus 7 S divided by 2, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 5 S plus 2, negative 5 s 0 negative 5 s 10 s square plus 7 s okay uh, kalau ada sekejap um, kita cuba simplify kan so x2 over f equals okay so uh, uh, saya ajar trik uh, untuk kira determinant okay so uh, maybe uh, maybe you guys uh, didn't learn about matrix uh, like the properties of matrix in detail but uh, I just want to teach you how to calculate the determinant quickly okay so for the first determinant the top one here so when you found this kind of matrix that has so many zero so try to look for the row or column that has uh, two or more zeros. So here, uh, this column here, uh, this row here has two zero and one value here. So you can calculate the, the determinant by using uh, this row, okay? So tutup uh, yang ni, uh, kira determinant dua ni. So what you get is uh, 10s squared plus 7s times negative 2f, okay? Oh, tambah. Okay, tambah. So, it's 0 plus 2F. Okay. So, ni 0 tak payah kira dah. Senang je. Okay. So, tak semestinya determinant kira dari atas saja. Okay. So, determinant can be calculated on any column or rows. Okay. So, kalau ada dua kosong, ambil yang tu je lah. Paling senang sekali sebab dia dah kosong dah. Okay. And then divided by uh, ni kira lah sendiri, okay? Okay, so if you have uh, uh, matrix, maybe uh, matrix ke apa-apa pengiraan, so yang semua ni uh, nilai dia empat markah, okay? So if you use by substitution, uh, if you get uh, X2 over F, uh, bagilah empat markah, pandai-pandai lah bagi, okay? Final answer dia, uh, tak lama dan nak kira, okay. Uh, jujur lah pada dia sendiri. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's continue chapter 2D, translational system. 
for a different case okay so if you have any question you can ask me okay or in chat okay so let's continue with our lecture okay so two degree of freedom multi multiple degree of freedom okay so um so uh, usually in in our car we have a suspension system uh, kita panggil apa apa suspension ah lupa lah apa bahasa dia okay dia tak nak bagi uh, kereta tu bergegar basically okay so uh, for suspension system uh, basically uh, if you look at this uh, figure uh, it could be made of uh, two uh, boxes or two blocks and then there is a there there are spring or damper in between but the most important thing is that it measures the input uh, the input is the road surface or the road altitude or the road height okay so uh, the input is in terms of uh, displacement instead of in terms of force so usually uh, in our um, uh, example of quizzes uh, last week and this week uh, the input uh, force uh, usually uh, the input are usually in terms of forces but this time the input is in terms of road height or road altitude so the difference here is that uh, you need to determine the force from the height of the uh, road surface okay so uh, let's look at how to derive uh, the transfer function by drawing the free body diagram for each of the uh, component okay so let's start with the wheel so the wheel here m1 is connected with uh, ks spring ks spring kw and damper b shock absorber okay um, okay so the the direction of x is upward so when the direction of x is upward then the force by spring and damper uh, is downward okay so here it's already in negative meaning that uh, you can draw a uh, ks x downward kws x downward okay and b x dot downward Okay, so here uh, in this example, the forces is drawn upward, but it put negative here. It puts negative here. Okay, and then the force uh, by uh, exerted by the body M two or Y is always acting uh, upward or along the direction of X. Okay, so uh, spring K S and B are connected to y so you get ksy and by dot okay so kw kwx is here and then the kw the spring kw is also connected with the road surface so you need to consider the road surface as a as another sort of degree of freedom okay so uh, here kw uh, times minus r okay so basically it's like this m1 x so you have a uh, spring ks x kw x and b um, b x dot okay and inertia And then upward is the from the spring KS connected to Y. And then B connected to Y dot. And also the spring here because it's connected to R. Okay, so you have KW, R. So this example here, it rewritten, okay, rewritten the equation. 
uh, sukati dia lah dia nak tulis de- macam mana sebab apa okay so if you want to derive by yourself uh, guna cara saya tadi ataupun cara awak tersendiri ke uh, boleh lah okay uh, macam ni lah cara uh, jawapan dia okay okay so all of the forces connected or due to x will be uh, acting downward or against the direction of x so since x upward so all of the forces from x are acting downward okay so forces acting on the direction of x will be from y and also r okay okay so the the important thing that i want to uh share with you is uh, this okay so if you have road surface connected with spring or damper for example ada damper kat sini so it becomes uh, kwr and br dot but uh, it acts uh, on the direction of x okay so dia bertindak ke atas so dia bukan uh, direction ke bawah okay dia direction dia ke atas so kalau x ni ke bawah barulah direction dia ke bawah okey ha uh, tu nantilah okey uh, kita assume direction dia ke atas okey now it's the second uh, mass or second uh, body which is uh, m2 so on m2 you have a uh, spring ks ksy and damper by dot acting downward and also inertia okay so forces that are acting upward is from uh, from x okay ksx and also bx dot okay so untuk uh, example ni dia tulis uh, dalam bentuk negatif okay uh, dia susun balik Okay, so don't forget the inertia. Okay, so tulis inertia kat sini. So sometimes if you forgot inertia, kena tolak marka, okay. So macam ni, uh, dia buat ni salah lah kalau ikut exam. <laughs> okay. So uh, jangan jangan lupa tulis inertia. Okay, so you get, uh, you will get two equations. So same thing, use Laplace transform. And then uh, dalam kes ni, dia suruh cari y over r. Okay, so yang ni sebenarnya guna Kramer's rule je lah, okay. So this one use Kramer's rule. Uh, ni dia dah simplify kan. Um, okay, nanti tengok lah. Nota ada kot online. Okay, so quiz 3D. Ah, okay, ni lah quiz 3D. So a dynamic absorber is shown. This system is representative of many situations uh, involving the vibration of machines containing unbalanced components. The parameters M2, K2, B2 may be chosen so that the main mass M1 does not vibrate in response to foundation vibration. Okay, ni dia membebel je, okay? Jangan, 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 uh, jangan rasa uh, takut dengan apa yang dia membebel ni. Okay, so the real question is A, determine the equation of motions describing the dynamics of the system. And then B, determine the transfer function for Y2 over Y0. Okay, so ni quiz 3D. So, dia orang, uh, ada orang kata soalan macam ni selalunya boleh jumpa dekat subject vibration. So, siapa yang nak ambil vibration? Wah, senang je macam ni. Okay. Okay, 3D. Oh, ada quiz 3E pula. Okay, so quiz 3E uh, special sikit sebab uh, submit uh, ahad, okay? Jangan submit dalam Google Form yang saya bagi dalam group WhatsApp. Okay. Yang ni hari ahad, okay? Yang Google Form tu sampai 3D dan quiz 4 sahaja. Okay, so uh, uh, step gambar lah, okay? Okay, so uh, let's go to uh, lecture four. Lecture four, mana? Okay. Okay, so 
uh, lecture lecture week three lecture lecture week three lecture two e is about transformation of rotational mechanical system without gearing okay okay so later in lecture two f we will have a rotational system with gears okay so uh, uh, with gears are usually come coming out in exam uh, without gears is just uh, for foundation okay so kita tengok macam mana nak buat untuk without gears so students will be able to create transformation of rotational mechanical system without gearing okay so uh, dalam uh, translational mechanical system uh, you have boxes but in rotational system you have uh, rods okay something that can be tor torsion okay can be rotated so here uh, example here uh, you have uh, uh, benda ni j1 here j1 is connected with d1 uh, damper d1 and spring k and uh, benda nak panggil ni um, j2 is also connect is connected with spring k and damper d2 so uh, how many unconstrained motion so in this case it's a uh, two degree of freedom okay because if you hold j1 let's say kamu pegang j1 tak nak bagi dia gerak so j2 je boleh gerak okay so when you hold j2 then only j1 can move so when you have this two things that move independently then uh, meaning that it's two degree of freedom okay so same modeling steps with uh, translational mechanical system but this time it's rotational forces instead of uh, translational forces okay so let's look at how to uh, draw the free body diagram okay so uh, before we draw the free body diagram um, we need to know, uh, to know the uh, how to convert the forces from spring damper and inertia uh, in terms of frequency response okay so if you have spring so spring the torque will be k times uh, angular displacement theta so in uh, frequency response so, so so this is frequency and this is time response so in frequency response it becomes k okay so for damper for damper the torque will be d times theta dot okay and in frequency response it becomes ds and for inertia the torque will be j theta double dot and in frequency response it becomes j s square okay so same with uh translational mechanics so if you have k then it becomes kx and then k and then d dx dot then jadi ds and then for mass mx double dot then it becomes ms square okay so tak payah hafal sangat lah okay uh, kena tahu je okay kalau d darat dengan angular velocity kalau inertia darat dengan angular acceleration Kalau spring darab dengan angular displacement, sama je, okay? Okay, so let's look at the first uh, Let's look at the first uh, Apa benda ni? Panggil rod, okay rod So let's look at the first rod Okay, so the first rod So assume uh, theta Theta one is uh, clockwise. So first, you need to look at all the components that are connected with J one. Okay. So first is damper D one, and second is the spring K. So uh, the damper, the force, the torque by damper D one and K and spring K will be resisting the motion of uh, theta 1 which is clockwise 
So the force, uh, the torque here will be anti-clockwise, okay? So D1 is anti-clockwise, D1 theta 1 dot, and K theta 1. And don't forget the inertia, J theta 1 double dot, okay? So this is uh, uh, what I, uh, I described just now, okay? The first uh, column here. And then look at this spring. This spring is also connected with J2. So there's a force by J2 from the spring on J1, okay? So this force is clockwise, okay? So you have one clockwise force, K theta 2. Okay, here you have a uh, torque T here. So the torque T, uh, uh, same direction with theta 1, okay? Uh, shown here, same direction. So T will be uh, clockwise, okay? So here in this slide, this one, it shows uh, the clockwise force. And this one is anti-clockwise, okay? And then this one is the complete free body diagram, okay? So this is the answer, okay? This one just uh, nak tunjuk je clockwise apa, anti-clockwise apa, and then they baru combine, okay? Okay, now let's look at J2. So on J2, you have... Um, so you have a spring K and damper D2. So... Uh, spring K and damper D2 will produce torque uh, anti-clockwise, okay? So, K theta 2 and D 2 theta 2 dot. And don't forget the inertia. And then the spring is also connected with J1. So, you have uh, a clockwise force from J1. So, it becomes K theta 1. So when you combine, this is your final answer. Oh, 3 degree freedom pula. Okay, so uh, in this example, it only shows the uh, free body diagram. So when you get the free body diagram, you can write in terms of equation of motion, okay? So in uh, for equation of motion, it will be clockwise, sama dengan anti-clockwise, okay? Tapi dia tak tunjuk kat sini. Okay, so let's look at... Uh, uh, example of 3 degree of freedom. Okay, so here it's 3 degree of freedom. So we follow the steps. So step one, decide input and output. So the input is the torque. So the torque is here. So here it's before the spring, meaning that it is for J1, okay? And then the output can be any angular position, velocity or acceleration of the rota rotational mass. So it can be uh, theta one, can be theta 1, theta 2, or theta 3, okay? Depending on the questions, which one uh, the question wants you to calculate. Okay, so we start with uh, J1 first. So J1, uh, it has uh, damper D1 and spring K. So first, uh, the inertia, J1, theta 1, double dot, anti-clockwise because here you assume uh, theta 1 is clockwise. So damper D1 theta 1 dot is anti-clockwise and spring K theta 1 clockwise, okay? And then torque is in the same direction with theta 1. And then the spring is also connected with J2. So you have a uh, torque by theta 2, 
uh, from the spring. Okay? So here you can write uh, in terms of uh, equation of motion. Okay. And then uh, for J2, so J2, you have spring and damper connected to J2. So spring, uh, so first is the inertia and then damper D2 theta 2 dot and spring K theta 2. And then the damper is also connected with theta 3 or J3. So you have a clockwise force for theta 3 uh, from the damper, okay? And also the spring is connected with J1. So you have K theta 1 acting clockwise. Okay, you can write in terms of uh, equation of motion. Okay, lastly is J3. So J3, you have uh, damper D2 and damper D3. Okay, so damper D2 and D3 are acting anti-clockwise. And the damper D2 is also connected with J2. So it will be clockwise, okay? D2, theta 2 dot. Okay, you can write in terms of equation of motion. Okay, so you have three equations just now, and then you can write uh, in matrix form. Okay, same thing, you must make sure that this is uh, symmetric, okay? This one, same. Okay. Kalau tak symmetric, uh, salah, okay? Buat balik. So if we are interested to control the position of the mass J3, then solve for theta 3 using Kramer's rule. Okay, so for theta 3, just substitute uh, this column into this uh, column, okay? Divided by the original determinant. Okay, dia tak tunjuk. Dia pun malas. Tapi korang dalam dan, dan exam jangan tak tunjuk pula. So, uh, for example here, uh, because this has two zero, so awak gunalah column ni untuk kira determinant, okay? So the determinant becomes T times KSD2. Ah, dah dapat dah. Senang je. So janganlah guna yang ni juga, okay? Janganlah guna column ni, uh, row ni. So you can use any uh, row or column, column, okay? To determine the determinant. Okay, jangan pembaris sangat. Oh, exercise. Okay, exercise one. Find the transfer function theta over T for the rotational mechanical system above. Okay, so this is one degree of freedom. Okay, so one degree of freedom je. So for this one, theta J. Okay, so on uh, on the uh, rod, you have a spring and damper connected to it, okay? So you have first inertia, J theta dot, double dot. And then damper, D theta dot. And spring, K theta. And then the torque is uh, acting clockwise. So torque. And then you can write in terms of equation of motion, J theta double dot plus D theta dot plus K theta equals T dalam uh, frequency response. So theta over T sama dengan JS square plus DS plus K 1 over, okay. Okay, soalan macam ni takkan keluar lah exam senang sangat. 
Okay, so exercise two, uh, two degree of freedom. Oh, okay, kat sini dia tricky sikit. Talk dia uh, bertentangan dengan Tita One. Okay, so uh, let's look at the first free body diagram. Okay, so on the free body diagram, uh, on the uh, rod, uh, rod J1, you have a spring KR and damper BR1. So you have inertia, J1, theta1, double dot. So you have BR1, theta1 dot, and then KR, theta1. And then the torque is against the direction of theta1. So torque pun uh, anti-clockwise juga. And then BR1 is also connected with J2. So you have B, BR1, theta2 dot, okay, acting clockwise, okay. And then for uh, J2, So on J2, you have BR1 and friction BR2, okay? So you have uh, J2, theta2, double dot, and then BR1, theta2 dot, and then BR2, theta2 dot. And then BR1 is connected with J1, so clockwise force, BR1, theta1 dot, okay? Hmm, siap dah free body diagram. Uh, dia punya matrix tu nanti kira dia lah sendiri. Susun lah sendiri. Oh, tiba quiz. Okay, so quiz four. Find the transfer function theta 2 over t for the rotational mechanical system above. Okay, dalam soalan ni, theta 2 uh, dekat sini, tak ada rod. Meaning that dia dekat uh, point ni lah, okay. Uh, sama case dengan uh, translational mechanical system where your free body diagram has no mass, okay? So here it's the same, theta 2 has no uh, mass, okay? No J, okay? So here it's two degree of freedom system because you have another mass here. So you need to introduce uh, theta by yourself, okay? So introduce the theta 1 here, okay? So after you introduce theta 1 here, uh, buatlah free body diagram as usual, okay? So theta 1 punya free body diagram, theta 2 punya free body diagram. Okay, so here the damper ke bawah tapi spring ni melintang. Adakah force dia uh, akan melintang juga? Uh, tak, okay? So assume je dia macam ni juga, okay? Sambung ke dinding. Sama je. Cuma dia saja nak bagi uh, korang uh, fail. So that's why dia letak ke bawah. Okay. Tapi sama je. Dia macam another damper yang melekat kat dinding ni. Uh, lagi apa? Uh, lagi tak ada dah. Okay so quiz 4. Uh, so please submit quiz uh, 3D and quiz 4. Uh, Wednesday 8 pagi. Okay. Before 8 pagi. And then quiz 3E, uh, Sunday, okay? So simpan dulu, jangan submit dalam quiz 4. Kalau saya, uh, uh, kalau tu submit, saya tak tanda, nasib lah, okay? Okay, so uh, any question before we end uh, our lecture? Yeah, soalan. Boleh tengok 3D.
Uh, group ni jangan lupa metric number Saya bagi kosong Awak punya uh, projek kau tak ada metric number Okay group macam tak cukup lagi ni Ada 60 lebih orang uh, Jangan lupa isi kat sini Siapa tak isi semua saya tolak markah Saya bagi separuh je Okay kalau tak ada siapa isi kat ruang ni Semua dapat 10 je quiz uh, Tu uh, carry mark 10 je 10 per 40 B2 tu damper, B2 tu friction Okay, friction antara uh, mass M2 dengan uh, Kiranya lah massless frame tu Sebahagian daripada M1, okay So, uh, massless frame tu macam sebahagian daripada M1 So, ibaratnya M2 is, uh, B2 is the friction between M2 and M1 Okay, friction between that two boxes Tapi dia punya friction tu melalui massless frame tu okay? So ia macam friction with M1 So here you assume that when you uh, hold M1 When you hold M1 fixed When you move M2 It will uh, have It will have a friction uh, B2 With M1 okay? So dia macam ber, uh, ada geseran dengan mass, massless frame tu so mass the spring tu sebab dia sambung dengan M1 So dia macam uh, friction dengan M1 okay Okay siapa yang tak ada group lagi uh, buatlah group okay Ni mesti tiga orang ni tidur Memang kosong saya bagi Sumpah aku bagi kosong Okay, any question? So if you uh, don't have any question, we end our lecture today, okay? So we will meet again on uh, Wednesday. Okay, bye-bye.